I am gonna show you around in my survival world once more and uh, after this I'm gonna start with a bunch of tutorials in, in collaboration with a local school here. Representing Aidsbean. I work in Aidsbean. Welcome to another episode of 30 Minutes Off. I am gonna show you around in my survival world once more. And uh, after this, I'm gonna start with a bunch of tutorials in, in collaboration with a local school here. That's gonna be fun. So I am up here now, but we are gonna go here last. Oh, it's laggy. That's this load a bit. I'm on the PlayStation 4. We go here last. This is a tour. I'm not gonna do anything special, but uh, yeah, I am gonna go to the part which we already know. Uh, we're in the nether now, we're in my house. You see this special hallway that leads up to that fucking place where we just were? Well, you end up here. If you look in the last Minecraft episode, you see that this is all the biomes I have now. And now this part is new. So I'm gonna go down here. And this is like pretty much the same as always. I hate that sound in my ear. Uh, yeah, those two things are new, but who gives a fuck? I don't know if I show this already, but I made a part of Overworld in the Nether. See, it's more of a the savanna. I think it's the savanna. It was kind of like that, but in a cave. Fucking amazing. Now let's continue. A piece of shit. Dead. Okay, rest is still the same. Going to the last episode, you see that shit. It's awesome. Okay, let's go to the overworld and I will show you some new stuff. It's, I did kind of some new stuff in this part. Now I got a bunch of pandas. As you can see, they're very shy fuckers. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's just go there. This is where the mob stuff is. You know, you remember my mob. I just emptied the chests, so there's not so much stuff there yet. And yeah, this is, I showed in the last episode too. So let's just go up. And this is the portal. And now it's the portal too. What have I done? Uh, I bet you're not questioning what I'm doing. Uh, there is a bunch of ovens here. Let's just throw away some stuff. Uh. Uh, okay, I'm sorry for that burp. Up here. We can go up here for fast. Just flexing a bit with emeralds, yeah. And soon you will see why. Uh, this is the new weather. Uh, you should try it sometimes. It's like a green weather. Uh, this is pretty much the same. I can't remember what I did last time. That is the problem. <laughs> it was so long ago I did one of these episodes. So just go around very fast and show off as much as I can think of. Now, this is up here, there's a ball, that ball you already knew, but there's another ball up there. I can't remember if I showed you that last time, so I'll go there very fast. I can already hear one of those fuckers in my territory, he's not supposed to be there, piece of shit. Go up to the flowers. Look at this. I mean, another ball. It's a lot of bridges, you know, that goes to the that part and that thing. We're gonna go soon too. And this is like, you know, you know, it's a nice part, you know. It's it's another in the overworld. But now we're gonna go to a part I know I haven't shown yet. Last time, it's amazing. Fucking beehives smoking. Pieces of shit. Oh my ear. Ooh. Okay, let's go upstairs. Take a sip of my beer, apple juice. Ooh. Delicious. Okay. This zombie ass motherfucker came up here. I think I called him Dick or something like that. Dyke, I said something like that. You weren't, you weren't supposed to name him like that, so they just censor it on PlayStation. I have all shit like that, you know. Uh, 
it's pretty much the same. Uh, except that I got like these paintings everywhere now too. And uh, this armor and stuff like that. But for the rest, it's pretty much the same, I guess. And this zombie, villager. But he's just gonna stay a zombie and he's gonna <coughs> stay as my decoration forever. Let's go down. Oh my gosh, I always went in there again. Okay. This part is kind of new. No, it's not, but it, I, I just have so much of this armor now from the end city, man. It's ridiculous. I killed the ender dragon one more time, and now I have like another, you know, one of those teleportation stuffs. So yeah, I seriously, I have like a shitload of ar armor and, and tools and everything, you know, diamond and shit like that. It's delicious. Now let's run over here. A bunch of ovens, flexing with ovens. Oh, I'm, I'm so good at running. I didn't have so much followers on Twitter, but I quit Twitter because there's so much toxic people on there. It's ridiculous. It seriously is like, you have so many people who just go on there to like bitch and whine at everybody. And you look at them, you know, in, in their feed, what they commented on other profiles and it's just negativity after negativity. Why? It's, it's like an endless negative spiral for yourself. You know, you end up in this negative thing. You just want to bitch and complain about everything and you're just spreading your negativity. It is kind of pathetic. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that so if you are one of those people, you know, it is way, way nicer to compliment the person uh, instead of acting like that. It seriously is like that. It feels way better for yourself also to, uh, you know, help out uh, a, a person. I forgot something. It was also like, you know, I was on Keemstar's uh, Twitter and he was saying like this, he placed a tweet, you know, about the uh, gaming lobbies back in the days, you know, how uh, brutal they were, you know, and that people, you know, Gen Z and cancer culture, I mean, cancer culture, cancel culture, I'm sorry. They are the cancer of the internet nowadays. Back in the days when they were just focusing on pedophiles and racists, you know, they were actually serving a purpose. But right now you can't even make jokes about that stuff. It's ridiculous. You get canceled for nothing. But I think there is a cancellation of cancel culture in the way now. So the, more, more people are standing up. Check this out, the secret. Let's go in there. Which is a good thing because you shouldn't give a group like that too much power either. They should have focused on only the bad stuff, you know, but not on dark humor and stuff like that. You can't even make one little joke or comment without those assholes going after you. You go in the water and there is another secret entrance. But as I was saying, the Keemstar thing, uh, I, he was talking about the gaming lobbies and all of a sudden I get like harassed by these. I was agreeing with him. I said this comment on Twitter. And I wake up the next morning and I am being harassed by K-pop stands. I had no idea how K who K-pop was at all. I had no clue. Um, so I, I'm being death threats and all kinds of stuff, you know, and I had to educate myself who K-pop was. I have no idea. Apparently it was like this Chinese or Japanese artist, musician who killed himself. A lot of people kill themselves, man. It's very, very nice of you guys to tell me to kill myself when I'm making a comment about something that isn't even remotely re related to K-pop. Now you should educate yourself, you fucking idiot. Jesus Christ. That being said, stop being fucking toxic on the internet, especially content creators. They already have it hard enough to get their content out there. Social media is pretty much like asking money, you know, so a decent amount of people gets to see your posts. And if it's not hard enough, your followers or your friends and stuff like that, there's a big part who just don't like any posts. They're just following and don't like any anything. And I have no idea why that is. If it's a, if it's like, if they don't see it, or if it's, you know, some type of jealousy that they still haven't found their talent yet, or, or if they still, if they're just not creative, you know, I think there's creativity in everybody. If it's some type of jealousy or hate or something, you know, that they don't want to help you, but you know, you should just help your friend out, you know. It's ridiculous that a coffee mug with a cookie next to it gets like a zillion likes and, and a person made like a painting and it spent like a good year on it and it gets like five likes and same goes for musicians they get ignored by everybody too you know even if you don't like this stuff just like it so other people who like it you know end up in their feed it's the algorithm you know it's fucking ridiculous back to the negativity why i uh, don't like twitter there's so much troll yeah trolls i don't give a fuck about trolls you know but back in my cyclone days yeah i get so much death threats and shit like that that was my secret base by the way you always have those people on the internet and it's 
they're always going to be there. But Twitter just seems to be uh, a place where the biggest amount of those people are. TikTok too. I tried out TikTok for a good while. And if you look in the previous uh, three videos, you can see three TikTok related videos I did. Maybe I just came there in the wrong time, but it was like in that time when trans, trans people were feeling left out, you know, because the super straight community they build a platform you know where they were getting a you know support from all kinds of directions you know and and in the end it was just you know in my eyes it was just you know uh, a bunch of yeah, trans people who can't take rejection but they just can't get over it that a straight person uh doesn't want to date them or fuck them or whatever yeah. you know and uh it's just and and the super straight community was like a bunch of bullies it was this endless back and forth and just when that star stuff was like calming down then it was like a totally different thing you know then it was all of a sudden women who hate men every man is a bastard guy does violence and and man uh, men uh, take over the world and blah 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 and the other week it was like you know women take over the world women are bitches and blah 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 and the other way it was then it was all of a sudden black power and then it was white power and white supremacy and black supremacy and ooh, this and that and i like i said maybe i was there in the wrong period you know it was uh, from uh, what was it december until february it was the darker days of the year but it didn't feel like a community at all it, it felt like everybody was against everybody and that is not really what social media should be about. It's fucked up. That's why I left Twitter and TikTok too. I think it's really sad that it is like that, by the way. With all of that being said, I forgot the most important thing ever. Let's fly back. During my rant and crying, I forgot to show you the actual thing that I wanted to show you. Smooth landing, smooth. Now, the coolest part, uh. but, I started Twitch instead because I thought if I get a bunch of K-pop trolls and shit like that, then they should just be on my uh, on my YouTube and on my Instagram and on my Twitch and actually where you can see my content. You know, you don't see shit like that on Twitter. Trolls and those kind of stands are too stupid to click like on your website and other social media. It's too much work. <laughs> okay, let's feed these villagers. So they can make more babies. Oh, look at them, those greedy pieces of shit. So, uh, look at them, being all horny and shit. The they just fuck each other. I don't know, they look like men, but they fuck like sluts and make babies and incest and all shit. What the fuck? Now let's go to the factory. This is my, my first village breeder. Now we're gonna go to the new part, the real new part that I wanted to show you. Oh my God, usually I kill them, but I don't feel like it. Oh, we can go to the bees first. Oh, here. I don't know what this is. What what this is all about. They're just here. They may be in there. You know, it's whatever floats the bubble. A piece of shit, let me in. Now, here are the bees. But this is the... I had to do this because the bees were taking off. And uh, I don't want them to take off. I want them to stay here. So now I have a good t amount of bees in there. 12, I think. I want you... Dead. I don't want you to be in here, you piece of shit. Oh, it's Dead. spitting up my ass. Dead. Spit bag in your ass. Uh, gonna have some leather in here. This house doesn't have a function anymore. This is where it all started. This is actually the first tree house I had from way before the first episode of my survival world. I don't sleep here anymore. I have a new house and we're gonna go there soon. First, we're gonna go to my factory. Now this is cool. Here is an XP farm. Uh, there's this YouTuber who makes in amazing t YouTube tutorials. I can't remember his name anymore. I think it's JC Tutorials. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, I made like uh, my own design of one of his farms, you know, it's, but I can't get it to work. I don't know why. I don't know if uh, Mojang patched it. Mojang should patch a lot of stuff, by the way. I bought a PlayStation 5, but I can't play this world on the PlayStation 5. Because it says something about online storage is full of, and it's not even full. Now I made this, my zombie infection thing. So, you know, to get emeralds cheap. This Falcor, he infects these pieces of shit. And they give me emeralds, you know. 
for one mel and one emerald. And that is how I uh, could make that entire hallway with uh, emeralds. I have two more who I have infected here. They're just sleeping here. And up there, you see this rails? It goes all the way up, if you, as you can see, to those, uh, to my villager breeder, where we were just in, you know, where I dropped all the carrots. And this is my auto farm, pumpkins and uh, melons. I made it six stories high, pretty cool. And behind it, I made uh, another farm with slabs you know i had to put slabs and fences everywhere because slimes were spawning here all the time they don't spawn on uh, you know slabs and on fences and stuff like that uh so i just run around here with my yeah silk touch uh you know i should put efficiency five on there but i don't have that yet so but uh, you know it's good shit you run here and you get emeralds very fast but i have another farm which i will show you now too we're gonna go up the other way. I made these elevators too. It was actually a really much work to uh, dig here. I should have built a beacon there, you know, to go faster, but I forgot about that. So I went through there with a bunch of... This is the beginning of the mine, you know, one of the first mines. Some ovens, here are some ovens, some more ovens, you know, some ovens and, you know, some ovens. So, you know, if you ever need to smell stuff, you can just rent the oven at my place. If you go down here, you go down to the old shit. But we're not going to do that. But uh, yeah, this was my uh, factory, I might say. It was a shitload of work digging this up, but uh, it's fun. I do this for relaxing, you know. So, uh, yeah, cool. And now we're going to go to the other new part. Uh, yeah, it's like a uh, oh, pfft, it's like an automatic gun thing. Horrible. We're gonna go here now again, and uh, we're gonna go to the cool new part now. Now, normally this shit lags as fuck because of all of the animals. Because I'm playing on a PlayStation Four, not on my PlayStation Five. It refuses to fly. Piece of shit. Just refuses to fly with all these animals. It's lag. Now this is a newer part. This house. Oh, smooth, smooth landing. And uh, I made a little melon farm and a pumpkin farm here, as you can see. The cool thing about this is this gave me, you know, enough. I have all infected. You see this? One pumpkin and one melon for one emerald, you know? You get so much. And golden carrots. And imagine going through this and then I have all of these motherfuckers and I was able to build this skyscraper are we gonna go there soon not yet not yet we're gonna go here and I made a little sugarcane farm nothing too fancy nothing too big and uh, yeah here's the new exit then to go to the outside world and shit like that a nice little, you know, some fireworks and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, if you're going to go outside, it's like in the open world. There's a village there. I showed you the, the it's awesome. And we go in here and let's go to the village. Oh, I'm on the roof. And we are here on the village, of course. We have now a triple beacon. <laughs> Which is pretty badass. Some flexing with gold blocks, emeralds, and gold. Makes you three beacons. Here is an iron golem. Get the fuck down, get to work, piece of shit. Here is the fish farm, the XP farm. And here you have some infected uh, peoples again. So, it's really good shit. Of course, I made two of these sugarcane farms. I know I should make, uh, you know, with droppers on water on both sides, you know, with redstone. So it goes like click, 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 and uh, you know, it grows faster. But I haven't done that yet because it was not necessary in my eyes. But maybe I'll do that to flex a bit. But this this works good enough. It just looks fancy, you know. Look at a piece of shit of work. The librarians I showed you, but now I have fortune here. 
and I upgrade this one too, and it has Feather Falling 4, Projectile 4, was it 4 or 3? Projectile 4, Feather Falling 4. Yeah, a lot of good shit. And I even have a Sharpness 5 back there. What? You don't trust me? Okay. Don't believe me? I'll show you. Say here, Librarian. I lock them in. Look at this shit. This is so awesome. Riptide 3 and Sharpness 5. That's sharp. Okay, and yeah, for the rest, it's not that much difference. Here, you dumbass, you need to garden better, man. This block's missing here. Oh, you're a fisherman, trying to hump people. What the hell are you doing here? Are they gonna go asleep, huh? You better not fuck each other again. There's enough babies in here. Let's go up to the cool spot. My new home. I love this lag. Look at it. Oh, I actually should make a more, a nicer entrance because I actually have a, a landing platform. And this is my new home. <laughs> smooth, smooth. We're gonna take a sleep soon because normally I have creepers spawning in that place and I don't want that. Welcome to my new space. It's humble, it's small, it's compact, but it has everything I need. I think it's gorgeous up here. This is on top of the emerald skyscraper I showed you. And this is where we started off the video and I ran in there. Now there's a waste bucket here. There is a kitchen here with a bunch of ovens. Nothing too fancy, but it's good enough. You know, some storage. And there is a library here. Uh, enchantment table, of course. And then those. This is my humble little house where I live. With my dog, Bitchfin. I took him up here. A fucking parrot is here too. Table, you know, a little, so I can look out. Some food here. Some more food here. Some treasures. Fireplace. And a view downstairs. Now we go here. There's my little fishing pond. Some fish in it. You know, nothing too big. Sugar cane. You know, a little waterfall. Really cool. I love it. It's really cozy. I don't know why, but I love this game so much. I always end up playing this game, you know? I buy new games and I always end up this game. <laughs> I have a bee here too, just one bee. It makes me a honey. I have this awesome beacon, the triple beacon. It gives me speed and all kinds of shit, strength, you know? And uh, of course, red, white, and blue, my country, Holland, and the, the, the orange tulips. I have some Dutch flags here too, again because there's nothing wrong with showing some pride for your country. Here is another fish farm, which I really... What the fuck was that? Something blew me. Bro. So you can just fish here. But uh, yeah, it's an amazing fish farm. It's awesome when your Elytra is, you know, damaged. You just fish and uh, it mends your entire arm, as you can see. No, I'm not gonna do that. And you get your XP and your goodies fall into this chest. Now, let's continue to the cool part. The next part is, that is the landing thingy where we just landed on. And here we have the main archive. Now this has every item and every block that exists in the game in it. Kinda. As you can see, Portal 1, that's why the other one was called Portal 2. From now on, this is my home, and that is more of a museum type of thing, you know, where you can relive some memories, for me at least, because I have a lot of memories there. You know, I played this game when I, was a, when I had a burnout, so everything has kind of an emotional value. It's weird how a game like that can help you through a period like that. But uh, let's go into the main archive. It has pretty much every item and block in there, as you can see. Fences, you know, stairs, uh, slabs, you know, from all kinds of blocks. I'm not gonna go through every, each and every block, you know. Ores, you know, with the diamonds and the blocks you can make with it next to it, you know. Uh, you know, those soul sand, and respawn anchor, lights, you know, and of course those magma blocks. These, also from the sea, everything, you know, blocks and, and, and these corals. Shulker boxes, all colors, 
uh, all colors of uh, glass, uh, mob drops, discs, you know, these the more rare mob drops here. I even have a dragon egg. You know, you can farm those with uh, a piston. Uh, beacons, you know, some wither stars, and you know, all kinds of cool stuff, rare stuff, you know, potions, all kinds of potions, splash potions, you know, dragon breath, all kinds of stuff like that. It's amazing. Amazing. It's really cool, actually, that I did that. Uh, this is where I drew the line. I made here concrete powder but i didn't make separate ones for the concrete blocks i think that was unnecessary so there we have fences you know from every uh you know every wooden sort you know you have every block you can get from the wooden you know even those and here you have the entire you know what are these called again i'm sorry stripped oak log and they have stripped oak log you know all four you know, it's nice, it's all neat. Neat like fuck. So I love it. Now these nether bricks, these are like some kind of, you know, stone slash wooden stuff because you get fences there too. So I put them here instead. And, you know, nether brick, a normal brick and stuff. Here you have leaves and tree samplings. Uh, it's really cool. And then we go upstairs. Uh. And you have, have to always look if there's not creepers up here. It's horrible. I have some more mob heads, as you can see. And some arrows and stuff like that. Fireworks, all kinds of all sorts. Now, I didn't make all separate ones. You know, I just put them all in the same chest. That's good enough for me. Uh, more, uh, more, some more mob drops and stuff like that. Bells, item frames, you know, all kinds of stuff like that. So it's really cool flowers and seeds and, and vegetables meat this is also i don't have raw meats and stuff i have cooked everything is cooked all the colors uh bottles you know cookies honey uh stews those uh, pressure plates every kind you know there's every single item you can have in minecraft is up here so it's i'm pretty happy with this it's really cool and it's all labeled with item frames so cool so I have uh, empty chests everywhere, you know, for expansions. I still don't have all the netherite stuff because it's a lot more work, but uh, the turtle stuff there. But uh, you know, it's it's really cool. I'm really happy with this. And uh, yeah, it's it's really cool. The view is really cool up here too. Look how there's almost no view in here. I just go down here. <laughs> when I landed, the dog barked exactly at the same time. Now look at this, you can look really far. And yeah, using this elytra stuff, it's amazing. And here's the rest of the thing. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing. We can end the entire video there. Let's move around a bit. I think I showed you my new building in the last video there, the big fucker. But I didn't show you what I did inside because I added that later on. Let's go a little bit slower so we land perfectly on this fucker and this is inside of the building now i made elevators you can't come in you piece of shit fucking jehovah's now look at this shit this is inside really cool design but this is cool this is a map of my entire land my entire project my, this is my survival world, and that is the uh, base, uh, what is it called? The ocean monument base I made. Really cool too. I showed that, if you want to see that, go to the last episode. You love that shit. And uh, yeah, I think this is perfect spot to end the episode. Let's stand here. And uh, yeah, this is my place, my new place. Iron Golem spawn everywhere. A desert piece of shit again. But he may live here. And uh, let's take a shot. That is my newest addition. I can stand like this so it looks cool. That is my newest addition. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do a collaboration with a local school. I'm going to do some tutorials there. You know, from the simplest stuff to like the more complicated stuff. 
And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have some fun with that. I'm gonna post that on my channel too. I'm gonna try to keep it more family friendly so it's not gonna be swearing and shit like that. Maybe a little bit. And, uh, like I said, I'm not on Twitter anymore, not on TikTok anymore, but instead, follow me on Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, and YouTube, and on Twitch now too. Links everywhere in the end of the video and in the description, of course. Leave a like so I know what you like, so I know what to focus on in future stuff. Maybe you like food challenges more, maybe you like other gaming stuff more. Maybe you like it more when I staple myself in the head. You should watch the Destiny episodes with uh, when I do that. It's really hardcore. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope to see you on all the social media platforms, of course, and here. So, uh, uh, it would be cool if you could leave a like, like I said, share. Because like I said earlier in this video, it is not easy for content creators or any type of artist, musician out there to be seen. Because there are so many of us and there are so many people who are hiding us. And so many people who are, and so many companies corrupt social media companies who don't want to promote us for free anymore i say corrupt but i guess if any of us were owning a social media website we would do it too <laughs> but uh, uh thanks for watching of course and um see you in future episodes i'm gonna focus a bit more now on music too so I'll be posting a little bit less. I'm hoping to post some PlayStation 5 stuff too. And uh, for real now, goodbye.